Yo, this is how you make shrimp fried rice. Ooh. So you're going to need your rice, onion, carrot, eggs, shrimp. Basically, it's one-to-one -one ratio with one rice and one of everything here. We're going to start with a splash of oil, eggs, another one. Scramble that joint up. Put your egg to the side. A little bit more oil. Half a tablespoon of garlic. About three tablespoons of scallion. Ooh, that's what we call pagetum right here. 150 grains of shrimp. Once the shrimp is cooked about 80%, throw in your onion. 50 grains of carrot. Season it with salt. Pepper. Yo, anything is good with salt and pepper, but this is my secret. Butter. Throw in your bowl of rice. A tablespoon of soy sauce on your rice. Half a tablespoon of sesame oil. Now break that joint up, baby. Put your eggs back right in. I love that free thing Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Butter Corn tortillas in Toss Flaky salt Just add your eggs Add in your cheese That's how you make migas. Flaky salt. Buffalo wings. If I see anyone go to beat those, whatever would sell wings, you will fucking clown. All these wings right here only cost you 10 bucks. If you went to beat those or something, that shit would cost like 25, 30 bucks. Season, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and then get the oil ready. You're gonna want a lot because we're gonna deep fry these. Then into a pan, you're gonna put about half a cup of Frank's Ray Hot and about three tablespoons of butter. And you're gonna let that all come together and that's gonna make the buffalo sauce. Then you want the oil to be really hot. You want to see a lot of bubbles around the chopstick. Throw in the wings. You want to do like batches. You know, you don't want to overcrowd. And make sure you wear a shirt when you find anything because the oil will be attacking you like crazy. You don't want to get that burnness. So take some carrots and go ahead and chop them up into little sticks, matches, whatever you want to do. And then take out the wings after about 15 minutes. You want to flip them halfway through. Take them out, put them into a bowl. Put on the buffalo sauce after the butter is all melted. And you got to do this right away. Give them a nice toss. Serve with ranch and carrots. And you got buffalo wings. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh. Today we're making grilled chicken gyros. Not gyros. Gyros. It's Greek. One and a half pound boneless skinless chicken breast. Pound the hump so it cooks evenly. Third cup olive oil. Grate two garlic cloves. Grated zest of one lemon. Marinate up to four hours in the refrigerator. Now we make tzatziki. One garlic clove. Grated. One tablespoon lemon juice. It mellows the garlic. Seven ounces Greek yogurt. One third English cucumber. Peel. Remove the seeds. Grate. Dash of cayenne. Pinch of salt. Stir. Two tablespoons chopped dill. Five pocket lasita. Wrap and foil. 350 degrees, 15 minutes. Heat grill over medium heat. Salt. Pepper. Oil grates. Grill four to five minutes each side. Remove to rest, eight minutes, slice. Chicken tikka masala. Blender. One tablespoon of coriander seeds. One teaspoon of cumin. One. Three get a powder. Two inch of ginger. Seven cloves of garlic. One teaspoon of turmeric. One tablespoon of garam masala. One red fresno chili. <coughs> a quarter cup of water. 
I'll take it at a nice smooth paste. Two and a half pounds of chicken thigh. Cut into bite-sized pieces. Bowl. One cup of yogurt in. Two teaspoons of salt. Two tablespoons of your tikka paste. Whiskey business. Chicken in. Mix that together. Cover. Marinate at least one hour or overnight. Large pan. Two and a half tablespoons of oil. Medium high. Cause it's nice and hot. Add your chicken. Sear for two to three minutes. Flip. Two to three more minutes. Remove from the pan. Add four tablespoons of butter, one diced onion, a tablespoon of paprika, tikka paste. Cook for about three minutes. Add one can of crushed tomatoes. Mix together, let that simmer and reduce by about half. One and a quarter cup of heavy cream. Mix together, let it simmer, reduce by half to salt. Add your chicken. Keep simmering until chicken is cooked. Rice, chicken tikka, fresno chilies, fresh cilantro. Ooh, shit. Start with that chicken thigh, pat it dry. Get them all in a bowl. Season them all with Tabasco, cayenne, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Mix it up until it looks just like that. Two cups of flour, cayenne, paprika, cornstarch, salt, and pepper. Mix it up. That's the flour mix. Two eggs, buttermilk. You know, want to mix that up. Pour that over the chicken. Mix up the chicken. Get it in there and let it sit. Then coat the chicken very well in the flour. Spicy mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, paprika, cayenne, Tabasco. Simple mix oil in check that it's hot enough has to be hot enough you want to hear that noise chicken thigh five to six minutes each side golden brown and then flip after that take it out just like that toasted brioche bun spicy mayonnaise both sides pickles that chicken top it yes uh one of my favorite things to eat while living on a college campus was broccoli cheddar soup let's make it today First, start with melting four tablespoons of butter. Add one cup of diced onion, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and four tablespoons of flour. Mix it to make a roux. Then, unlike me, slowly add two cups of vegetable stock. Once it looks something like this, add a teaspoon of salt and dashes of pepper. To this, we're adding a cup of carrots, three cups of broccoli, and simmer for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes later, add two cups of half and half. And lastly, two cups of cheddar cheese. This soup is so creamy and decadent. I hope you try it. Thanks for watching. So I've been seeing all these TikToks of people making some shitty ramen, so. Here's some good ramen. So you're gonna boil up some water. You're gonna need two pots for this. You're gonna need one egg. Some scallion, some onion, cilantro, some bok choy, beef, paper steak. And then plop it in the first bowl. And in this pan, you're gonna throw in your onions and that steak. So as this stuff is cooking, you're gonna wanna get your bowl and we're gonna start making the soup. As the noodles are starting to finish, you're gonna wanna grab some of this stuff, the bok choy, just throw it in there. You're cooking like not even 15 seconds. So now you're gonna take this, make sure you drain this water because it's filled with preservatives and it's actually like kind of bad for you. Mark the dump truck and make the flesh. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh shit. You got that egg on there? God damn, this shit is good, yo. <laughs> okay, so you're at. Y'all are asking for fried chicken, but you didn't say which kind. I think we should do something special. Start with some chicken breast. Put that in a layer of plastic wrap. Chicken, another layer of plastic wrap. Eat that bit. Half an inch thick. Repeat with all your chicken. Season both sides with salt. In three, in three separate containers. Three eggs. Splash of water. With a whisk. Whiskey business. Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of panko breadcrumbs. Welcome to the breading station. Both sides in flour. Shake up excess. Then the egg. Both sides, obviously. And then, cook well in panko. Look at that. Repeat with the rest. Deep skillet. High heat oil. Put half an inch deep. Pan stove. Put a little over medium heat. Until the oil is hot or about 350 Fahrenheit. Carefully lay away from you. Fry that. For three to four minutes. Flip and fry another. Two to four minutes. The water rack. Now that is a crispy. Katsu sauce. That's looking about right, but I think we need a little extra. Oh yeah, we got the sauce. Yes, sir. <laughs> 